Hello, and welcome back to Rick's Kits with an update on the P47 Razorback. Um, I've got gloss down, ready for decaling. Good, we've got some invasion stripes down on the uh, underside. Bit of uh, dirt in the bottom of the wheel wells there to make them look grimy. Um, I've got, got my props almost done. Uh, I've got the front end of the prop, but the nose part of the prop there, the wheels are partially done. Uh, I've got all the lower, lower undercarriage and stuff in the process. Um, just put a decal on that one. But there we go, it's got to be settling down, so got one decal on. So yeah, that's where we're at. I need to get the decals down because I I need to uh, figure out some weathering for it. It's not going to be too overly dramatic for the weathering, but it needs it needs need something on it. Um, I'm not quite sure what's going to happen with it, but yeah, that's where we're at. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you in a bit. Welcome back. As you can see from bits and pieces lying around, we propeller. I think it's too silvery, so. Uh, yeah, props done. At least the decaling and that was done on it. Um, we've got the wheels and the hubs done. Um, wheel. These are done. That's almost ready to go. The bomb, bomb racks are in aluminium. Um, you dropped it. Bit. Pickles are on. Paint scheme has been updated to what it's supposed to be we've gone down quite well Things out of the way. Uh, you might be wondering why the RT is underneath the counting on the actual photo that is what it's showing on the reference photo that I've done so now I have got the Start putting it all really together, um, giving it a vinyl, vinyl varnish coat over the top to protect them decaling. Uh, I haven't gone over mad with the decals. You probably noticed that. Well, you may not have seen on on a lot of it, but there's like about fifty or sixty little tiny decals <laughs> I've got to go on this thing, and I'm not up for that. So. You get main decals only on this, really. Uh, I've still got the guns to sort out, the aerial to sort out, the mirror to sort out on the top. And basically put all, everything together and uh, it should be finished up. So I'll see you in a bit when I consider it's done. See you in a moment. Hello, welcome back. Hello. I'm calling this done. Um, done a bit of weathering on it. Uh, chips, mostly silver chipping. Um, I was going to base it off a couple of photos that I had seen online. But at this moment, my uh, they out my weathering for aeroplanes is not up to par on uh, some of the some of the aircraft that I've seen other people do and certainly not for the potential technicalities that I would come across on trying to weather this aircraft to the extent of the um, weathering of the actual World War II aircraft in the photo um, so this is Squirt 2 uh, flown by Lieutenant R. H. Parker. 
we do have some panel line working there. Flip it over without destroying anything. I do have some mild panel line work going on the uh it, there are some errors on here and they are 100 percent mine nothing to get whatsoever i just noticed i forgot to paint the end of the bit of the tube um i have put the bomb pylons on because in the photo that i was looking at it actually shows the bomb pylons on the aircraft and i've busted one of, the, one of the little pegs down there for the uh, fuel tank the, the drop tank so uh pleased with how i've gone so far with this let me just get the cockpit the wolf there we go there's the work too and the lovely lady painted on the side uh, the decals were most of them were decal. That was the Tamiya decals. And the ones on the prop. They were Tamiya decals as well. Everything else is kit well. Very nice decals actually. And really well. They are prone to holding, I have noticed. Managed to get straightened back out. So basically bring me up here with um Over my weathering. Oh, this air. Heavily weathered here. And the side. Surely if drag would have. Weathered down. Anyway, thanks for looking. But, too, do appreciate you. All you guys, old and new subscribers, for uh, being part of my channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.